come take a look at the biggest Space Marine Codex yet. Spiking bits. What's up, Hobby Maniacs? Welcome back to Space Marine Fest 2017. It's been over, well, slightly over, three years since we last saw the basic Space Marine Codex back in June, I believe it was, of 2014. And Games Workshop gave us the new, the better, the bigger uh, Space Marine Codex. Now this thing, it's actually really big. It's a 208 page book that's clocking in at almost three fourths of an inch thick right there. That's pretty crazy. I wanna say this is definitely the biggest Space Marine Codex yet. Uh, of course, it's hardcover. Got the dope art by Raymond Swallin. I, I assume he still uh, draws their art. Um, printed in China, whatever. Uh, <laughs> haven't had a problem with their books as of yet. Uh, the Path to Glory one actually fell apart in a review almost, but it just seemed like it wasn't uh, stuck together. So we just gave it a quick stick and it was good to go there. Uh, let's see. So this book is, I mean, it is just full of all sorts of things. You've got uh, your 26 new stratagems, 85 new data sheets, six warlord traits, and six new tactical objectives to go along with the existing one. This thing is so big, I have to like zoom out the camera a little bit. Look at that, that is crazy. This thing's crazy big. You've got the inset leaflet here with the art of the battle bards dropping dudes, uh, drop pods and inceptor guys down into uh, what looks to be a battle. Some sort of chaos town fort battle that is taking over uh, some sort of city it looks like. Not exactly sure where that is or how that fits into the fluff, but it's there. Nonetheless, the contents page is so huge. Look at this thing. There's 206, you know, 208 pages, of course, but there's so much jammed in here, so much room for activities and things. Of course, you've got the Emperor's Finest section, which is the origin of uh, the Space Marines themselves, which is uh, going to also give you uh, the bestiary section on each individual unit and things like that. Uh, there is, man, there's just so much information in here. You've got the chapters, successor chapters, the units themselves, special characters. Uh, I mean, there's just, there's just so much information in here. Of course, a focus on the Ultramarines. You know, it's a lot of the battles, the Tyrannic War, um, their place in the whole uh, Indominus Crusade, which is the new thing that Gilliman's kicking off since he came, since he woke back up and wanted all his... Uh, uh, you know, all those uh, good boys and girls in the Imperium to kind of take things back. But of course, you know, there's been the Sundering, it's going to be cut in half. Now there's portals and stuff that I haven't read through all the fluff yet, but I've seen some of it. And it looks like, you know, it's really kicking off. Definitely want to read this whole book or as much as you can. Of course, it is a lot of information. Uh, then it gets into the forces. You know, this is going to be your painted section guide. Uh, right here, this is going to give you all the dope stuff as well and get all those hobby juices going and then it gets into the war gear. Remember, you've got relics now, you've got stratagems now, you've got warlord traits now, all sorts of different things. Then you're going to have points and things at the back of the book, which is going to be your, um, I, I would say, auxiliary section, so to speak. But this is where you might actually, in, in, our, in our tips and tactics review, this is just our general overview. We'll probably start here, go over a lot of the special rules and then kind of work into the units themselves and give you an idea of the flair. Now, a lot of it we have seen already. I mean, a lot of this was in Index Astartes. We know there's wholesale points reductions across the board to a lot of special characters, except for, except for what is it, Tell was it Teleon? or Kronos, one of the two actually went up in points. I forget which one. Uh, looks like there's a lot of dope stuff in here. You know, if you're a Stern Guard player, they've been kind of shat on for a while. Now they can take the combi weapons. Combi doesn't go away, but the regular guns are actually really good too. And we'll probably talk about that some at some point here. But lots of information. We're not going to show you every page because that actually probably is against a lot of a lot of rules and a lot of laws out there just regarding you know uh, secondary reviews and things like that. But we will show you what's pertinent, give you an idea of the flair of the book. Obviously, at this point, it's a hardcover book for fifty dollars. Probably the biggest Space Marine Codex in existence, of course. Then there's the uh, kind of uh, accessory deck of cards that you can buy for $15. These are the normal card size that we've seen in the past. They're going to give you all of the tactical objectives up to the stratagems themselves. 
and you're gonna get all 26 of the stratagems, which are really cool to have on the table and be like, all right, I did that one, all right, I do that one, command points, keep track of things, and the six new psychic powers as well as smite, because let's face it, everybody still uses smite, right? So you got all of those in here as well, some really cool game aids, so to speak. Now, it would be cool to get the rules themselves as well in a deck of cards, but I'm not sure if Games Workshop will ever be savvy to that because then quite possibly you might not buy the book if you buy the $15 deck of cards. Hard to say. Hard to say, right? Well, I am here to tell you that I will buy both, but I don't know if I'm the <laughs> typical customer for Games Workshop. So as far as the intro section goes, we're not going to show you all the pages, but here's the inset art in color as you can see it right here. This, this whole section in here is wonderfully done. There's such good stuff. Now, they did import a few things over that we've seen in the past, like make it to the Space Marine. That's been in White Dwarfs and things in the past. Uh, organizing the chapters. You've got all the, the banners and stuff here. Codex Heraldry expanded to be out to the, the uh, Primaris here, but it's going to give you all the ideas of what, what the symbols are, and it looks like they're replacing things from Elite to Fast Attack. Now it's Close Support, Fire Support, and things like that. Um, so, you know, changing things over, making things different, but still a lot of cool things out there. Here's the colorized version of the Sundering, the Cyretix Cer Maledictum. Probably said that completely wrong. Le Latin was never my strong suit, although some of the romantic languages I can still pronounce. Uh, Brotherhood at War at times. And then it's going to give you all the successor chapters, some timelines and things, some second companies. Uh, the Indominus Crusader, remember Gilliman's back. He talked to the Emperor and he's doing stuff now. They're going after the bad guys. They're bringing the, uh, the galaxy back to the Emperor's light. Or at least they're going to... Uh, die trying. So there's all the chapters, successor chapters for each one. Then it gets into sections on each individual unit. That's your bestiary. This is going to tell you all sorts of fun and exciting facts on them. There's the Contemptor Dreads, transport vehicles, and of course uh, the new Redemptor tank, gunships, uh, and special characters all day, every day. Then it's going to jump into the painted section, which of course is going to give you all sorts of really dope painted armies and miniatures painted by the white dwarf or excuse me the heavy metal team and of course some other folks there at games workshop there's the new chaplain the reavers the new inceptors with their pew pew plasmas and the strike force musters and then it gets into uh the data sheets themselves i was trying to see if there was We've seen a couple of pictures of things. Nope, I guess not. Just the existing things that we've already seen picture-wise. So there they are. And then it gets into the section here. Now there is gonna be some differences. There is gonna be, not be some differences. Uh, for instance, I think on Tigarius, now he can throw out this Master of Prescience till the end of phase. Uh, to start of your opponent's shooting phase, select an ultramarine unit within six inches of Tigarius. Still gotta pour through a lot of this, but I've just been uh, reading and kind of skimming over things and have a couple of notes in my head already now points cost wise yeah things change for sure but that's just gonna be a video for another day when we go through a lot of that right here but suffice to say 85 data sheets in here a lot of new fresh content you're gonna want to check everything here get to the back of the book it's gonna give you the armory which is to be expected of course with all those great weapons and then you're going to get into the chapter tactics section, which we saw a lot of this already teased on Games Workshop site itself, right? Now we know chapter tactics applies to all infantry, biker, and dreadnought units. And there's some winners and some losers in here. And I actually think one of the better ones is the Salamanders one, because you can reroll a single fail to hit roll or single fail to wound roll for once per unit. And let me tell you what, getting those crucial last cannon shots through or something like that or a crack grenade is going to be very much preferred by your units, whereas you might have to spend a command point or something like that. So keep that one in mind right there. I think probably the weakest is the Iron Hands one, actually, where there's so many multiple damage weapons and you're only going to get to ignore... Uh, whenever a model with this tactic loses a wound on a six, the damage is ignored... 
So if he loses a wound, it could do multiple damage. Eh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm going to have to read the semantics on that one. Maybe that one isn't the weakest. Maybe that's actually secretly the strongest. I like the White Scars one because it basically brings back hit and run, although you can't shoot, of course. Ultraman's one's very good. It's basically fly without uh, the fly keyword. It's subtracting one to it. Overall, uh, I like the Neg 1 for the to shooting for the Raven Guard Shadow Master or Raven Guard uh, units right there with that keyword. I think that one's pretty good. And then it gets into the stratagem section, which again is going to give you a big 26 of these bad boys right here. Now stratagems, um, this might be the make or break thing because they don't cost you points. And there's going to be some things in here that you're going to notice that you cannot pay points for. Like for instance, getting a chapter master, which you've already heard about at this point, I'm sure. Uh, so three command points is going to get you on a captain upgraded to a chapter master Something that you couldn't do in the past But there's also cool things that we've seen in the past that there's no way to get now like the line breaker bombardment Which if you took you know vindicators or the predator where's the predator thing? Uh, the predator thing is also in here as well Where you could get Mm, I haven't read all of these yet, but I know there was the one with the Predators used to be able to reroll against monsters and things like that. So there's still a lot of things in here, and some of them apply to Space Marines in general. Some of them are going to apply to a specific chapter, but regardless, you're just going to have to make sure that you don't mix that one up. Ultra Drill is definitely strong for the Imperial Fist right there. But again, this isn't the time or the place to go over tactics. We're just going to kind of show you the book itself. You can make up your mind whether you want to pick this bad boy up. But I definitely think having these in a card form is definitely going to help you out on the tabletop right there. And then it gets into um, more right here of your 26. Then your Warlord traits, you just, get to, you just get to choose them. There it is. Boom. Lots of good ones right here. Angel of Death. You've got reroll charge rolls for the Imperium Sword, Iron Resolves, add one to the wound characteristic of your Warlord that can help you out with Gravis, of course, getting you up there, Storm of Fire, uh, whenever you roll a wound roll of six or more for a friendly chapter within six of the Warlord and Shooting Phase, the Armor Pen is increased by one, that one's super good, uh, automatically passing morale within six, and adding one to all hit or wound rolls made for the Warlord in the Fight Phase when targeting enemy characters. That will definitely help out a lot as well right there. I also wanted to mention that the Chapter Master is also very strong in the fact that uh, you get to reroll failed hit rolls for friendly chapter units with six inches. You can also use the stratagem once and your army cannot include two Chapter Masters right here. So instead of rerolling ones, you can reroll any failed hit rolls for friendly units within six of this model. So it's a little bit better than a captain, and you can see why they did it that way, supposedly. And then chapter relics, you just get to pick. They're all very good. There's no points cost associated with this right here. But again, if it has a specific name, somebody like Marius Calgar or something like that, you're not going to be able to take one. But again, they got some really good stuff in here, adding plus one to your toughness. Um, Santa Halo is pretty good. You do have to have an Iron Halo, but you're going to get a 3 plus invulnerable save and attempt to deny one psychic power in the enemy uh, phase and the same manner as a Psyker. That one's pretty good. Oh, actually, I thought this one you don't have to have an Iron Halo or you don't have to have a Storm Shield already. That's pretty cool. All right, so there it is right there. Oh, it's the Shield Eternal that you get to upgrade for that. So the Shield Eternal you just get to take. And you get a three up invulnerable, and any damage they suffer is half rounding up. So remember, damage of one is always going to get through, but stuff like two, of course, is going to become one, three is going to become two, but so on and so forth. So it's going to reduce it to a certain point, um, much like, you know, uh, we've seen in the past with rounding up and rounding down and things like that. So Santa Kalo and Shield Eternal, definitely two of my four fronts on uh, favorites right there. And the Librarius Discipline expands on what was in the Index Astartes. Going to give you six fresh ones right here. I like the Fury of the Ancients. Uh, this one's 3d6, so average of 11. is going to do one mortal wound to everything within that line of sight. We've seen the Fury of the Ancients in multiple books in the past, and I think this one is probably the best version of them all. Might of Heroes is also a good one. Going to give you plus one of your strength, toughness, and attack characteristic. That's great. Um, vehicles, of course, uh, they do have to have the Adeptus Astartes. So, not so much an Imperial Army, but definitely super good for an Adeptus Astartes. You throw it on things like Dreadnoughts and stuff like that, going from toughness 7 to toughness 8, from toughness 8 to toughness 9. 
obviously that is a force multiplier in survivability but also giving you additional attacks which is going to turn you uh, just into absolute blunders when you start comboing it with other things in here like you know re-rolling uh, completely re-rolling all your hits or, and stuff like that like there's just so many layers the space marines themselves seem to be like an onion and you just keep peeling back all these layers and layers of things you can do and combos you can do and yeah there might not be death star so to speak and you can't take flyer spam but overall this seems to be a very resilient book and then you've got the a special six tactical objectives that we've always seen in the past where they always have specific ones per faction well there they are right there and some more in the battle shots points values wise i'll just leave this up you know you can take a look at it can kind of compare it to what you might have in the index book itself there is going to be a lot of changes i'll just tell you right off the bat marnius calgar changed for sure a lot of the special characters changed ironclads uh were reduced i believe there's, um, I think there was a thing on the Stern Guard are a little bit cheaper on their weapons. I think it said 18, they're like 16 now. There's not as many options out there for some units that we saw, and some units are just plain missing, like some of the show only and um, Warhammer World only models are not in this book altogether. And then some things. Uh, we're just completely taken away like for dreadnoughts You don't have the ability to take you know the double auto cans because if you think about it from a, a model standpoint That was never uh, a, An option in any of the kits, so they don't they don't it's not available twin flamers things like that Just not available anymore uh, heck even con you can't take them on bike anymore because think about it con was never available on bike They only made a walking model with him swinging his sword, which we actually showed you earlier. So Games Workshop brought a lot more stuff into line with how their model kits come equipped than uh, they were in the past, where you can have all these options and do all these conversions and things like that. Well, it looks like that is not the case anymore. So there it is, for the most part, all of the book. This is your overall first look, probably not your first look, but a great review to kind of get those juices flowing and determine for yourself, voting with your hobby dollars if this book is for you. And of course, uh, the new accessory cards right here. There is a cat in the room. She loves it when I talk. Sometimes she just can't help herself. She wants to be part of the action here. All right, so that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. We will be back next week with our tips and tactics. It'll probably be a two-parter because there is so much information in this book. This is a crucial point in 8th edition. We're seeing lots of new Primaris stuff in here, which if you didn't already check out our reviews for all the new releases, you can check them out here on the channel as well. So coming at you, hot and fast. You ready for it? It's Space Marine Fest 2017. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on our videos and head on over to thelongwar.net. That's the home of the 8th edition battle reports for exclusive content, early access videos, and more. Become a veteran of the long war today.